Most of us got the message over the years that if you haven't started to learn an instrument at a young age, it's too late and you should probably just move on. But I'm here to tell you that it's never too late to follow your dreams. My name is Christy Lynn from christylynnmusic.com and welcome to Harp Help, where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. Now this topic is very close to my heart because I used to believe that if I wanted to play harp seriously, I should have started when I was much younger. So when I started learning to play the harp, I was 25 years old and I thought I would just learn to play a few chords to accompany my singing because it was really too late for me to take the harp seriously. And now here I am, a full-time musician, singing and playing the harp. And I also play harp at an advanced level, um, classical harp. And then I also um, write my own arrangements for singing and harp. And I play some Celtic harp. And I've explored so many different genres and I'm having a wonderful time. And it really wasn't true that I needed to start at a young age if I was going to take harp seriously. And I know of some other harpists who are professionals that also started when they were a similar age. For example, Ray Poole is a great American harpist and he started when he was 25. And even Deborah Henson Conant, if you are in the harp world online, you would know about her. Um, she was 22 when she started learning to play the harp. And I know of plenty other people who started for fun in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s. Um, so it really is never too late to learn to play the harp. And I'm sure some of you will have examples for me of harpists who have become professionals after starting at a much older age than me. Um, so I just wanted to say that the three main things you need when you're going to learn to play the harp is passion, time, you don't need a lot of time, maybe just 10 minutes a day, <laughs> and commitment. You have to know that it's really something you want to do. And if you have those three things, then it is never too late for you. And I really think you should just go for it. So sometimes we procrastinate for so long that we end up kind of giving up on something. And I think some for some of us, it's time to forgive yourself for years of procrastinating and just move on from that and allow yourself to chase your dream. It really isn't too late. Maybe it wasn't the right time in previous years. Maybe you were busy with other things um, like your work or bringing up children. And um, maybe it's not a bad thing that you didn't start then. Maybe now is the time. And don't let the past stop you from moving forward into something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, because there's so much out there and it's, it's such an exciting journey. And why not start now? So I have some reasons on why I think you should start now. The first one for starting with harp is that it is such a satisfying instrument to play. You might have heard this from other people before, but the harp is so much fun to play from the start because it, it just gives a beautiful sound. You don't have to work extremely hard to make your first note sound beautiful. From the moment you start with the harp, you're going to be encouraged by the sound that you produce and that makes it so much fun to play and the other thing is that you can share the music with other people it's such a wonderful process when people around you see that you're achieving your dreams they're going to be so inspired and if you can share some harp music with them along the way what a fantastic thing for them to experience too and then another thing is it's just such a stimulating and exciting experience there's so much to learn and it's, there's just a whole range of information that you can access on the internet and such an exciting journey. So why not start now? I think you owe it to yourself. If you have dreamed about this for years, it is never too late to follow your dreams. It is something that's so fulfilling and really relaxing, especially if you um, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself to learn it all very quickly. It can be such a relaxing process and a wonderful hobby to learn to play the harp, no matter what age you are. And as I said before, even 10 minutes a day, rather play in um, practice little short sections every day. Don't feel like you need an hour or two every day to practice. Just a little bit and it will add up and you'll see yourself progressing and it will be such a satisfying thing. Sometimes it's actually our pride that is getting in the way of trying something new. It takes a bit of humility to be a beginner at something because you aren't gonna be good in the beginning. And it's a humbling experience to realize you might be an expert in your field of work, you might be a brilliant mother, 
you might be very good at being a friend, but maybe you need to try doing something where you're not going to be an expert when you start off. And it could be a little bit frustrating, but you need to have patience with yourself and allow yourself to be a beginner. Because when you do see yourself achieving things, it is such a satisfying feeling. Um, something that was so difficult for you last week and then this week you're suddenly able to do it and all you did was put in a little bit of work every day it'll feel like you're not progressing and not progressing and then all of a sudden you're able to do something new and man that is such a wonderful journey so don't waste time pining about the years that you've wasted when you would have liked to have learned the harp and thinking oh i could have been so much further by now if i'd started years ago well it's not too late to start now and it's no use wasting time pining about the years that you've wasted. Rather just enjoy the journey now. And so another little piece of advice to you is get the best harp that you can afford. So a harpsicle is a great place to start. If you can afford a bigger harp, that's also great. Um, if you actually struggling to put aside money at all for it, then I would say start saving now. Put aside as much as you can every month and eventually it will hopefully won't take you too long until you're able to afford um, a harpsicle or perhaps something a little bit bigger. And whatever works for you, I think you should just go for it. I wonder how many times I've said that <laughs> in this in the video today but can you tell that I'm excited for you? If this is something that you've been wanting to do, then how fantastic to be able to finally achieve your dreams after all these years. Um, and then I think it's just something worth prioritizing. Sometimes we prioritize other people in our lives. We prioritize our work, um, buying a house, all these important adult decisions. But there comes a time in your life when you realize that actually a dream is worth prioritizing. Something that you are excited and passionate about. If you can set aside a bit of funds and put it towards something that will really just add so much quality of life. I think that's something that's really worthwhile. And if you're feeling that pull and you're driven to try it, then I think there's a reason for that. And perhaps you're gonna even bless the people around you with the beautiful music you will create, or just showing them your exciting journey of discovery could be so inspiring for them to try something new that they've never done before. So um, if you were told as a child that you have no musical talent, that can be something really devastating to hear. And maybe that could be something that's held you back for years and years and years. But don't you think your desire to play the harp is more important than what people told you years ago? Forget them, forget what they said. And whether it's true or whether it's possibly not true, which is quite likely, I'm sure everybody has some, some musical appreciation and ability inside them. Um, but even if you think it's true, it doesn't matter. Just push forward and try it anyway, and I'm sure you will enjoy that process. So if you'd like to contact me for a bit of encouragement, then please go ahead. I love seeing people finally achieving their dreams, and I'd love to give you a few extra words of encouragement. Let me know what's holding you back if you've been wanting to start the harp, and maybe maybe I can just say a little something that will, will help you realize that it really is possible. And if you don't have a harp teacher in your area, or if you're not sure where to start, I do also teach harps, harp lessons over Skype. Um, so you can contact me for that as well. And all my details are in the description box down below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And let me know if this was inspiring for you. I just think this harp community on YouTube is so wonderful and it's it's so great to see so many people becoming passionate about the harp all around the world. So I'd really love to hear from you all. But otherwise, um, subscribe because I am going to upload another video next week Thursday and I'll see you then. Bye!